Welcome back, everybody. This is, again, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. We're doing the World Tour um, game mode, and today we're going to be facing John Daly. Let's go ahead and load up. We're going to be going to Sahali Country Club. And where am I coming from, honestly? Like, that looked like way past Australia. I'm going to put 500 on this match. John Daly exploded onto the golf scene, coming from nowhere to win the 91 PGA Championship. Daly's known as the longest driver on the PGA Tour and won his 11th driving distance crown with a record mark of 306.8 yards, topping his own 2001 mark of 306.7. He lives in Rogers, Arkansas with his wife, Sherry, and his three children. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I played this before. I won, except I just didn't... I don't know. I felt like I was lackluster the first time I tried this. So this is another re-recording. Hopefully we can have a better uh, competition this time. opponent in the world tour. Make sure you keep it straight down the fairway to have a chance at victory. No, I don't think I will. Hit all of them in the rough. No, I, like, honestly, I feel like I, I, he has some big drives, and this is, like, definitely one of the first ones to do it. The first time I played this, um, when trying to record it i was so busy trying to hit draws and fades whenever i could and i felt like that was my downfall like most of the time just hitting it straight up would have you know done the trick now watch this guy try to assert his dominance everywhere Had to assert his dominance there. All right. David, what do you see? 120 yards left. Let me back up. All right, 125 yards. So I know I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a short one for that last video. This, like, this stuff right here is gonna end up being long plays. I'm not gonna hold it to you. So this is 125 yards going uphill. I am going to hit this club. This looks good. Should be safely on the green. Oh, yeah. That's a good shot right there. Let's stop right there. Excellent. Six feet. That should be a good putt on the way. Here's Daly. This will end up on the putting surface. I'm closer. This is a 15 foot putt. I don't think so. Mm, that's going to be a tap in. Rolls it in for par. All right, this is 2 inches long. Oh no. What up? Oh, I didn't need it. Okay, cool. I totally forgot, and uh, but I got the forgiveness anyway. Going up, one up. Now, par five on a second. This dog leg left par five sits up well for most who can draw the ball off the tee. The fairway is lined on both sides with giant firs, and any attempt to reach this green in two will demand a second shot that'll carry to the front edge of the green. A bunker guards the left side of his putting surface. All right. So it looks like I got a lot of work to do to hit this one, especially if this one is going to be a par five. Luckily here. I went the wrong way again. I don't think he's going to like this one. It's headed OB. I went the wrong way. I keep going the wrong way on these. That's my problem. Well, 
somebody's gonna scatter a few leaves with this shot. There we go. Looks like it's going left. Let's see what ends up. Sorry, I'm a shot behind daily. Let's hope he hits the water. All right, 21 yards to the pin that time. This is not an easy shot, David. You're right, Gary. Just a little under 230 yards to the green from here. Just wants to punch it out of here. Oh. I could have uh, did a little bit less with that. Didn't have a club in between. This one just wavered offline a little, but he's okay. Shouldn't be too tough a shot. There we go. That's a bogey. To only get a bogey after all that, it's not really bad. Take John Daly for a birdie. Relax, she still got another one. That shot will win the hole. Even to back up because of my mistake right there. All right. The tee shot on this par four leads to an uphill fairway. The green is large and provides a good target with bunkers both right and left to catch any errant approach shots. All right. There we go, 242. All right. Showtime. Oh Looks man! Looks like it'll find the rough. All right, yeah. Well, I'm familiar with that spot. That would be uh, that would be silage. Trying to keep this one under the radar. There we go. Get out of there. A little over 200 yards here, wouldn't you say, David? You know your stuff. You're a professional announcer. Okay, so we've got the one iron. This will be interesting to see where this one goes. Well, I didn't get enough of a fade. With a topping. So, this is how it's going to play today. Oh my goodness. 
Imagine you three putt. Well, under normal circumstances, you'd probably say that that flat out sucked. A bogey there. That hurts. <laughs> well, look at him go. Oh. <laughs> Needs to roll this one in for par. Wins the hole. All right, so now Daly's up now. One went up. The character of Sahali shines brightly through the pines of the slight dogleg right par four. There are some tall trees, even the fairway on this hole, and a tree and a bunker protects the right side of the fairway. The approach is to a two-tiered green that requires a soft landing shot. All right. 232, you say. Up on that one, David. David, are you still with me? Oh, how could I be anywhere else? I mean, this golf is so riveting. Amazing, brother. This one will end up on the putting surface. A little bit too That's close for shot. comfort. All right, second shot for Freddie. Looking good. Headed for the green. Mm, barely. Should be able to make birdie here. That's exactly where you want to put it if you don't put it in. Like, I'm okay with that. Gets his paw. Daily to win the hole. This for a half. Makes his par. All right. This par three tee shot features a lake to the right of the green as well as bunkers on each side. The wind may play a factor here at number five as the trees are much more sparse. Well, looks like we got a lot to do here. Let me open up the door a little bit and think about this. Oh, that's sitting smooth, but that looks short. Break out your yep. sand weapons. All right, let's learn from our mistakes. Should have a good chance from there. Didn't get all of it, but you know, it's something. It's a 
pitching wedge. I'm surprised that made it through. birdie for 21 feet oh guess it wasn't as short as we thought finishes off the car this puddle will half the hole I think daily can make this with 10 feet Oh, Nothing no. Nothing to be proud of here, I feel. The fairway on this uphill hole is lined with three bunkers on the right and one on the left. The second shot is uphill and needs to carry a large bunker in the right front of the green. All right. Put a little extra on that swing. Little draw there. Not quite there, but it'll be all right. Going for the green, 199 yards. I might have to go all in. might be a lot short. Yeah, it wasn't what we were expecting there. That's all good. So John Daly, you could get on. That one oh. right into the boondocks. Just rolled off the fairway into the rough. Mm, I could have done better. Pressure's on. This is for Birdie. Man, I can't Ooh, believe I there. missed that. This is for 12 it's feet. It's makeable, Gary. The right speed and the right line, and you got it. Ha! Yes. That'll usually work. This one will have the hole. Makes his par. All right, we got it done. That's going to be a par.
This straight, slightly downhill par four has a tree-lined fairway. The green, which undulates around the edges, is surrounded by three bunkers that closely border the edge of the putting surface. All right, so after goofing up and uh, messing up, trying to get back to one up, gonna try to get um, a good drive here on the seventh. There we go. That one's a little bit left, but uh, I think it'll be all right. Yeah, that'll do it. 287 yards, not bad. That's weird. All right, here's Daly's uh, second shot right now. Should be happy with this approach. Mm, kind of soft. I could deal with it. This won't make the grain. Too short on that one. Too short. Not bad. Six feet. All right, now Daly to win the hole with 37. I, I doubt his ability to put this one. Ah, oh, this looks good. Nice recovery. There we go, cleaned it up. This putt to have the hole. Gets his call. All right, still all square. Headed to the eighth now. This dogleg right par four may be the toughest hole on the course. The tight fairway puts a premium on accuracy. And if you pull it too far to the left, you might find the beach. The approach shot can be tricky with multiple bunkers protecting the green, which is pitched from back to front. I think I could take it. Please don't sell. Oh yeah, I. Shot right where he wanted it. Yep, sure did. Don't be worried about delicate complexion here. This one's heading for the trees. It already hit the trees. Kind of late on that. See, you think I learned my lesson from trying to like bend the ball? honestly feel like I have at this point because I was like I didn't need to do any of that I could just find a gap and just shoot it right in between there this isn't the straightest looking shot in the world all right let's try to put it on the green This is a par four. We're on the green, and a putt will be upcoming. At least one. Well, All right. could be better, but it's on. See, I could hit a 34-foot putt. Kind of. Oh, 
Oh, that's gonna roll off. Tried hard to stand the short stuff, but alas, it didn't make it. Texas wedge? No, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, I think we had a rush of blood to the putter head there. All right, I could deal with that. Long as putt. That's 12 feet right there. All right, so if that's 10, that's kind of in the center of the screen. Roll it in. Oh, I was short. I wasn't expecting to be that short. This or bogey. This is just that distance when a putt could possibly fall in. Oh, this one is just uh, like uh, frighteningly bad. Mm. That's all I got to say about that one. That's a very painful double bogey. This putt's for par. Amazing. Going back to one up now. This scenic par three has a large lake which borders the left side of the green and additional bunkers on the right and left side which make the green a tricky proposition. All right. This is headed for the green. Man, I really didn't. I I saw I needed the club down, but. We're on the dance floor. This looks like a beauty. It's right at the flag. Mm -hmm. That's just a wonderful shot. Longest putt again. My goodness. On turn for me. Well Too done. wide. Man, I, I really I really thought I was doing something right there. John Daly for Birdie. This is running right at the hole. Erased my lead at the ninth. I knew I should have. I should have picked the one iron. I, I wasn't expecting the downhill to not actually be effective. If only we see that much, you know. Is vital on this par four dog leg to the left. A powerful drive can set up a chance at a birdie, but a well-protected green is surrounded by an eye-pleasing horseshoe-shaped lake.
I stopped talking about it because, you know, I got to move on and focus on the next hole. That's, you know, the kind of mentality you have to have. Two forty four, that seemed kind of passive. Is that a three wood? All right, we can hit it forwards. Can we make it come backwards? I don't think so. Why would I? All right. Yeah, that's the right way. I can't be certain. But this looks like mm. it's heading for the rough. Didn't hit it wide enough. Well, looks like I'm gonna be uh weed whacking now. Here's John Daly, 143 yards on the fairway. Unlike some people. Should be safely on the green. Fourteen feet, that's probably the average. Medium. I can't do that with the sand wedge. I, I I literally don't trust myself to do that. I can go for it with this one. I'm okay with that. I don't that. think it was a good decision to go for that shot. Honestly, I felt like that was the safest thing I could have done. I mean Where's Davies at? Oh wow. Nothing dangerous here. Read it right, keep it firm, and you might make it. That's par. Got to get it together now. This is a pro golfer this here. To have the hole. Converts his. Whew. That was scary. So we're still even up at the 10th as we uh going through the back nine right now. Hopefully we can get this done. Got 33 minutes in it. And this is the one where we don't get a flyby for. So, I, okay. So, yeah, we got two bunkers. And, you know, that's it. I, I don't know. Oh, nice houses, you know. Kind of cool. 538 yards. Par five. Uh, guess, uh, the one thing that I guess I do want to tell you all about. Oh, snap. I, imagine if I swung right, right there. Imagine if I did swing that. It's headed for the rough, but it might not be too bad. I can help it. Oh, my goodness. I barely saved it. 273 off the tee. Well, unless I'm seriously mistaken, that will be on the beach. Not a good break. What's going on? Oh my gosh. No 
goodness. Wow. Here's a trophy ball for you. I wasn't expecting that. That is just unbelievable. Your first double eagle. And for that, here's a trophy ball. That's an albatross. You the pin. Something that cool has to be worth a trophy ball. Oh my goodness. And with that, I just unlocked Black Rock Cove. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. That, a. Hey. That is a highlight. I'm going to make sure I clip that. <laughs> wow. With a driver? Hey, I must have been up to something. <laughs> We're going to go one up with that. This par four hole requires length and accuracy from T to green. The fairway narrows around 250 yards off the tee due to two fairway bunkers. A tree on the right side can create a tricky approach shot. The green is relatively flat and has bunkers hey, what was front, that? right, and left. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped now. Like freaking, that was beautiful. Like I'm glad I caught that on tape. No complaints about this one. I land up just fine. There we go. Daily with the second shot. All right. All right. I've learned. From last time I tried to club up or down, that'll, you know, 10 feet ain't nothing to club from. Looks like the next shot will be from the rough. Are you kidding me? I don't need a mighty whack here, McCord, if he's going to extricate it from this stuff. It's thick. Face it, once you get in a bad spot, you got a hard time recovering. That's good. I'll take that. Putting for birdie. Ain't no way. Four par. What? God, this one was just plain ugly. Needs to reach. How much is an inch? John Daly, trying to win this hole. John Daly wins that one. Boo. So it's back to even at the 13th. This par three can be problematic if the wind is blowing. The green is guarded by two bunkers in front and one in back, and the hole placement toward the front will be challenging because the putt can be very slick coming back down the slope on this green. 
I'm looking for revenge now. And it nicely for the green. They can't all be highlights. This one's at least on and it's respectable. Oh, don't tell me that was too much. Get out your range finders. This is in the deep doo doo. Twenty six feet. Please don't make it. That'll make me very sad. Nothing too tricky in this one. A readable break and moderate speed. It can be had. This for par. There we go. This one to have the hole. Makes his par. All right, we're even through thirteen. This short, sharp dog leg left par four requires a very accurate drive. Cutting the corner here could mean trouble because if the ball misses the center of the fairway, it may roll to the right, and your next shot will be blocked by a large tree. The green slopes upward, right to left. Yabba dabba doo! Put the wood on oh. that one at both ends of the shot. That was truly unfortunate. <laughs> so yeah, I need to aim a little bit wider if I'm going to keep doing that. I think he's going to like the result here. I hope not. Yeah, Can that's a little bit too close. Shot? See the ball here, McCord, let alone the brand name. It's buried. David, just outside the hole here on the left? Yep, tiny little slicer. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, give it to me. There we go. At least I gave an effort. Daily with a birdie attempt here. Nope. I'm still alive. This will have the hole. Wasn't expecting for this to be, you know. Converts his car. Go get your ball. What are you doing? Act like we're the only ones on this golf course. 
with trees lining the fairway from tee to green. This straight hole with an elevated tee requires length and accuracy. A large mound in the center back of this green will make for some difficult putts, particularly if the hole is cut in either of the rear corners. All right, let's see what Daly got. Flirting with that line. I see you. Well, you need to be able to jerk on this one's leash. Too bad you can't do it. Didn't even need to look. Probably should have. Yep. I was trying to get that dynamic golf swing angle, but uh, I screwed up there. And with so much on the line, I shouldn't be trying to... Like, yes, creativity. But not with the game on the line. He'll well. get all he wants and a bit more when he plays out of this stuff. He's in it deep. All right, well, I got to make up for this. Luckily, the, gl the grass is light. This should find the green. There we go. 17 feet to the pin. That's a good save. All right, Daly, 12 yards out. Third shot off the green. Oh, no. Oh! So I got to put this. You know, from this range, this one could go in. Uh, and this one's not going to be easy with no guidelines or anything. Let's hope that's six feet. Very, very nice. Yes, go! Read it and weep. Even with three holes remaining. All right, I got to shape up now. I got to shape up. Come on. A short dog leg right. The 16th hole requires a layup with a long iron or fairway wood. The next shot must carry a large depression in the terrain to a two-tiered green. Everything slopes toward the left and the front of this green, which is guarded by bunkers on the right side and left side. All right. Good swing, but uh, heading for the longer stuff. All right, this is a great chance. The short grass here, Gary. He's nestled down in the thick stuff. This is a great chance to eat right now. Seriously, I'm hungry. Oh right, no. Get out your gardening tools, something to prune with perhaps. This one's in the I Yeah, that was terrible. I hope we can find this one in the trees. All right, well. That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. This one looks like it might find the sand. Ugh. Bunker buddies, honestly. It's perched regally. I don't know what that means because I've never heard anyone use that word. You know what? I'm a... I can't flop no more. I really am tired of the flop. I can't flop as well as I can. That is too good. 
A solid effort is all you need here. This one is quite makeable. How? How? Exactly how? What, with that? Never doubt yourself again, Freddy! Never! This to have the hole. We're gonna go one up with that. My goodness. <laughs> He's so bored. Alright, we're one up with two to go. If I win this hole, I win the game. This hole is set up in one of the most beautiful places on the course. An elevated tee looks down upon a large green with water in front that wraps around the right side. A large bunker parallels the green on the left, and the green rises slightly from front to back, making putts move quickly down the hill. I'm gonna go two iron. That seems kind of deep. Wild and soon to be wet. Don't tell me. What? Oh my goodness. What was that? I gotta I gotta look at that again. That was rock. I I I don't believe that. This looks good, should be safely on the green. I should also trust my caddy, apparently. This looks good. My invisible caddy. Hey, yo, wait, who's that in a tree line? That's looking good. Nicely done. I guess we'll never know. All right, so now it's even, so it's gonna have to come down to this final hole. What luck. Again, last hole finish. The 18th at Sahali is a fantastic finishing hole, with par being a very good score. It's long and it's tight. The view from the tee is of an uphill dog leg left. The approach shot is hit into a large two-tiered green surrounded by three difficult bunkers. All right. Daily on the tee. Go ahead and hit that bunker for me. You're supposed to hit the bunker. 277. Going left, let's see how far left. I barely made it out of that one. The green's reachable in two. I smell eagle. Well, I smell something. I know this isn't going to be two double eagles, but still. Come on, fight! 
Yeah, I think oh. it's tougher. It's in the tall stuff. I needed that. I really needed that to be on the green. That would have saved me so much right there. It's getting rough out there. Well, looks like I ain't gonna be the only one. Uh oh. This one's found the long green, and I don't mean money. All right. Five left. This is a crazy eagle. Hey, that's not bad, actually. Uh, this looks good. Three feet to the pin. 61 feet. You're going to try to put it? Good luck. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little bit far. All right, now the pressure's on Daly to sink this one, because if not, I'm winning this. I'm telling you right now. This for birdie. Just a routine down and in. Go get it. Ooh! Choked! That was close. Choked! There's some pressure here to save par. The game's already over, dog. I'm sinking this. Like, go ahead, take your putt, and take your L as well. You make your par. This is this for the match right here. The match. All right, now. Putt. Gentle left swing, not too much outside the hole. Let's go. Come on. Bop. That's how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. I've earned my T Tour card. And I've won a World Tour match. Unlock Tiger's Dream Hole 6. And won $200,000. So it took me all 18 holes to win one up against John Daly. Now I have $249,000 now. So yeah, I'm feeling a little cash money right now. Up oh, and look at this. They saw how I've defeated John Daly, and now Nike wants to sponsor me. Wow. Getting a $75,000 signing bonus and bonus cash per round. Amazing. And for every Nike item that you use during a round of PGA Tour season play, I receive a cash bonus per item. Congratulations. Wow. I feel amazing. And uh, looks like we'll go to the pro shop later. Well, let's at least look at some of the clubs that are currently on sale. Ooh, glasses. I do need some glasses. I've got drivers, fairway woods, and more. Don't mind if I do. Ayo. Got some Nike Dura Peels. Hell yeah. Go ahead and buy those. Yeah. This is for my strong hand. Let's go ahead and buy all the clearance stuff. Hundred thousand dollars. Might as well.
that's pretty much all I'm gonna buy in regards to like pretty much I'm only gonna I think that's gonna be my challenge just buy everything off the featured I mean that would take forever but I feel like it would make sense just buy everything in the game I mean, I'm going to have the money to do it regardless, so. Mm. Honestly, I feel like I shouldn't waste too much time in regards to this. But uh, next uh, episode, we're going to go ahead and... And take care of you know just whoever our next challenger is going to be i'm not sure quite yet who it is but you know i definitely want to uh check that out let me actually look real quick all right oh jim furick at spyglass hill i remember jim furick he had that weird swing but it worked i think we can take him and that will be at Tour Stop 3 of the U.S. Northwest. Um, let's see if, uh, you know, that is an option we can do. Or I could go and play um, someone else along the coast. Uh, Felicia Downtown Brown. That's a possibility. But uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll probably do a test run to see how, how well... Um, you know, well, I'm going to probably get my stats up. Maybe I'll do uh, maybe I'll do a season tournament, um, you know, a PGA tournament or so. So that way, you know, I get some more money in, especially since I do have some Nike equipment on or something like that. So that's definitely something I could do. But uh, yeah, that's going to conclude today's episode of the match. On Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. I hopefully uh, y'all enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you like or leave a dislike uh, comment uh, about how you feel. And uh, yeah, don't forget, of course, to make sure you subscribe to the channel for uh, more content. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for now. And as always, I'm Freddie J. And y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see you.